Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. I'm doing a reading today for Scorpio. It's Scorpio season. So Scorpio, this is sort of your next move with your twin flame in separation. Something of your next move in the journey. What should you be doing? Where should you be focusing your energy? Uh, we'll talk about some things that have been difficult about the separation process, some things that they might be feeling, you might be feeling. What is their soul really saying to you? A message of love, a message of love that you convey back to them, and then sort of lessons that are involved here. It's always good to try to understand the lessons. Uh, when we understand the lessons, we're educating ourselves, and it makes the process a lot easier. So you're going to choose one, two, or three, and I'll leave timestamps, and we're jumping right in. So let's see what we get for this first card here. So this is sort of the map. This is sort of like where to next. And we've got this golden palace here, okay? Um, if you guys are not familiar with this deck, it's called the Enchanted Map deck by Colette Baron reed Beautiful deck. So the golden palace, it, it has to sort of say to you, have you built up a palace sort of in your mind about where you want to be right now with your twin flame? Okay, it does represent good fortunes and wealth and prosperity and emotional fulfillment and all of those things. So you might be entering a time in your life now where something happy is happening to you or you're in a happier place or a happier energy. And that's long overdue happiness is what I feel the most here. Um, so there's also a message of self-worth when this card pops up. So make sure you are appreciating yourself. You are taking care of yourself. Make sure you are going after your dreams. You are doing everything to fulfill yourself and living your life as authentic as possible. Uh, I want to also say, you know, be aware that you may be getting more. You may be gaining more. Okay, so it could be in, in the form of knowledge as well, all right? So let's try to stay open to that. It could be in the form of knowledge as well. A lot of information might be coming through to you at this time. You might be feeling um, overwhelmed, okay? You might even have gifts opening up right now. All right, so let's check a lesson that's involved with this. Um, maybe that you've overcome recently, something that you've worked on, something that you continue to work on. What's a soul lesson here that has to do with your twin flame? Okay, so we've got patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So really kind of slowing down. I feel like you may have come into an acceptance about this now. Like, you know, you can't rush it. You know, you can't do X, Y, and Z to promote yourself into reunion with your twin. You can't just solely do what you think you need to do and hope on it and say, well, I did my part. Now are we going to reunite? Big question mark. No, it doesn't work that way. So they have to do their work. You have to do your work. And there's patience involved in that. And I feel like you've finally sort of stepped into that now where you're not in a rush anymore. You're not in this big hurry. You know that rushed things don't come out right anyway. If you try to rush baking a cake, it's a big old mess. So we've got patience. I really like that. Let's see something that they are working on. Or they may have passed something that they've worked on part of their soul lesson. We've got worry for them. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Now keep in mind that these, all these can resonate with you um, or all can resonate with your twin. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So worry. So they might be um, overcoming anxieties, fears, insecurities, all the things that keep them up at night, all the things that make them worry. They might just be a natural worry wart type person. This could have been an issue when you were together, just as the patience part could have been an issue um, going into separation. All right, so let's see something that's been rather difficult, something that's hard to get over, something that you know you're struggling with, something that they might be struggling with. We'll do two cards. What is something that you're was the hardest thing that you're dealing with? Hardest thing that you know you can't sort of get over. We've got this barrenness. And there's nothing left. So it could be that between the two of you, there might have been significant pain or significant damage or fighting or something that left this very cold, very hopeless feeling over you, okay? So because they might not directly be in your life or they might have had to take a path um, that led them further away from you so they can accomplish what they need to, you're left with this barren feeling. So you have to kind of realize... Um, 
that only you can sort of do the regrowth process on your own. Like you're the one feeling like this. You have to really start to plant new seeds for yourself and really start to tend your garden and start to clean up and start to, um, you know, piece your life back together and, and don't stay in this state. Don't let them keep you here. Don't stay here yourself. Okay. It's not that there's no hope. It's that it's a feeling of that. It's an illusion of that. What you look before you, yes, there's barren feelings. Yes, they may have gone. Yes, they've maybe you feel abandoned by them, but it's all necessary for the growth process. So it's up to you to sort of replant everything and reflourish everything and regrow everything. So what's something that they're having a difficult time with? We've got baggage clinging to the past. So they might have difficulty getting over the past past lovers way before you came along, past stuff that happened to them in their family, stuff that's happened to them here and there. Maybe they've had a rather tough life and they can't drop this baggage. It could also be that they're carrying everything from previous separation point till now and they're clinging on to the past. They can't let go of the past. They can't move forward no matter what they do. Even when they try, if they tried to go date somebody else, this another person would see it and they wouldn't want to be dealing with them or anything like that that um so they're having a hard time letting go and it could be like i said over stuff with you or it could be over stuff of their own personal accord their own personal shit that they need to drop that baggage and again that could be an issue that is why you go into separation absolutely so what's a message that you know your heart is saying to their heart your soul is saying to their soul and what is their soul saying to your soul oh we've got some jumpers all right their soul is saying to your soul Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. That's really beautiful. You can take that message however it resonates. Um, what I feel is that their soul is saying this to you because you may have had a lot of moments of doubt. Now, if you truly are twin flames, you share a telepathic bond and you would definitely feel this. So what is something that your soul is saying to them? Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So you could be not even knowing what they're doing in their life at this time. And they may be working on um, doing this to build up their self-esteem or doing this to help themselves or get themselves in a better mindset or a better mind frame or a happier mind frame is what I'm getting. So let's grab one last card sort of from the Enchanted Map and what's the next step? What are the next steps going forward on this journey? What are the next steps? Ooh, we've got commitment. So interesting. This is about also being committed to the journey, committing to being committed to do whatever it takes on your part as part of this journey. And the same goes for them. Okay, whatever you basically twin flame separation is also a commitment, just like union is a commitment, the commitment to yourself, to your healing, the commitment to their self, to their healing. Okay, just want to be clear on that because a true commitment is responsibility of the heart, the mind, the body and the soul. So think about that for a second. That all has to be present. Okay, so, you know, you know that this does have to do with partnership and possibly getting back together and, you know, revitalizing the connection or talking about things that happened in the past, letting go of stuff and wanting to move forward with this. So it could be that, you know, you you do you bide your time and they bide their time. And if you really, truly are doing the work, you will come back together to have an opportunity for this. OK, um, I really feel like it's a lot. It takes a lot to be 100% for somebody. So I feel like when you both feel like you're both ready to be that 100%, um, because this does have to do with like long-term commitment and commitment of, um, you know, wanting to continue on the journey. Okay. So just keep that in mind. I hope that these messages were helpful. All right, if you chose card number two, we've got a balancing act. Okay, interesting. Notice the number, guys, 11. One plus one is two. So it has to do with sort of balance and duality here, okay? So, you know, sometimes there's times when things seem a bit crazy, a bit topsy-turvy. It could seem like, you know, we're juggling through things. It could be like, you know, you're juggling and then someone throws a thousand balls in there and it messes you all up. 
So you could be unsure of your footing. You could be unsure of your next steps. What do I do now? How do I make it past this? Like if I have to walk on this tightrope, how do I make it past? So it's a moment in time where you need to sort of evaluate which areas of your life need balance, okay? You have to think about um, harmony over discord and think about success that can be yours. Um, and you really um, might be struggling to sort of find that inner stability, but when you choose a balanced sort of focused way that you, you, know, you wanna go in life or a balanced way that you, you know, wanna get to, um, that is part of finding, you know, security on the journey here. Okay. So let's see what something is very specifically tied to lessons involving this balancing act. Cause it could be, um, major lessons. We'll talk about theirs and yours. So what's a major lesson for you tied together with this balancing act? So we've got purpose. I know what I am here to do. So it could be you haven't yet found that yet. You might be struggling with that. You might be unsure. What's my point? What's my purpose? You might be in a dark night of the soul where you're questioning this so deeply that you can't even function. It could be that you know, you're know you on the road to finding that purpose. It could be something has always pulled at you and you've ignored it. Maybe you thought you wouldn't make enough money doing it or you weren't gonna be good enough at it. There's something pulling you, okay? And your soul truly does know the right way to go. So I feel like you need to follow that soul path, follow that, what is that nudge? What is that pulling? Go with that, okay? So you might be um, in separation because you need to discover your purpose. All right, so what's going on with them? We've got surrender for them. I can release my need to control. So they might have issues with that, issues with not understanding that you can't control anything at all. Control is a complete illusion. They might have tried to control partners in the past, okay? Um, that might be a thing for them. They might need to be learning this lesson now that they can't control anything about the journey. They can't control anything about what's going to happen in the future. Only you can do is make moves towards the better. That's all you can do. You can make moves towards surrendering the fact that you need to hold on to this idea of what's going to happen, what, what, what. So they might be really struggling with that. So let's see something that's sort of been the hardest here for you and for them because these are major things to overcome, guys, and the lessons are very important. But when we're stuck on you know very specific things, it's really hard to see past to the lesson. So let's see something that you are really struggling with. So we've got wasted time, enough is enough. So yeah, you might have put a lot of time into this more than that what was needed and it might be like you're taking your time to go you're taking your time to move on spirits directing you to go forward without them okay you cannot stay stuck in time just waiting for them to figure their shit out that's their business that's what they need to do you know twin flame is not like a breakup but it is like a breakup in a way you have to kind of move on you have to kind of go and carve your way and figure out what you need to do because you're not spending the time on the things that you want to do for you you're not spending the time on yourself and your healing and your purpose so that's an issue what's an issue for them let's see what's an issue for them mm, they've got self-torture so they might be tormenting themselves about shit from the past like that let go energy too it's haunting them too okay so know that know that it's bothering them too but this is not good because there's no movement there's nothing going on right for you or for them so this really says to me this is in early stages of separation or there's denial stage here that neither of you have pushed past yet to start to make the moves the first step guys is acceptance you got to accept sometimes that this is the way it is. And if it's truly meant to be, you will come back together. But you can't torture yourselves. You certainly can't just stay stuck in time. Spirit is nudging you along. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to not know. Just as long as you're making movement. So let's see something that their soul truly is saying to you at this time and yours to them. What is their soul saying to you? A love message um, at this time. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. Wow. So in their soul, in their heart space, you know, that's their wish for you. Okay. So think about soul to soul connection. When I talk about that telepathy feeling, that's what they're sending to you. They want you to be happy no matter what. Do what you desire. Do what's going to make you happiest. And if you don't know what that is, spend the time to figure that out. That's what they want you to do. Now, what's a message of your soul to their soul? 
Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time, simply acknowledging this as truth. So you really love them and you want them to know that they're not just loved by you, you're, they're loved by everyone. And you have a very unconditional love for them. So that's what your soul is sort of saying to them. So let's get one last card for the new direction. What's next? Let's see. Ooh, we got Dragon's Lair. Interesting. So if you think about a dragon and they breathe fire, right? So is there something that maybe you guys were regretful that you said to each other or something that you didn't say that you wanted to have the chance, you know, to say? That's what I'm thinking. So I feel like you would be given an opportunity to do this. Um, coming up is what I'm getting. I would say, I don't know, maybe in the next few weeks, possibly. I don't like to really do the timing thing too much, guys, because free will. But you also have to know that you're protected in this journey. You may even have a dragon for a totem animal or a spirit guide. But, um, you know, this is sort of a warning that things are out of alignment and need to sort of get back into alignment. And you will face challenges, but you have to overcome the challenges and take those first steps sort of on this journey. And a life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. So you may need to understand that new experience is calling to you and it will test your courage, but you sort of need to go forward into that. And there's greater value in risk than not taking a risk at all or remaining like unchanged, unchallenged. So just remember that, guys, going forward. I hope that this was helpful. All right. Now, if you chose the third card... Let's see what we've got here. Okay, we've got rescue. So is it that you feel you need a rescue or is it that you feel they need a rescue or were you the one doing the rescuing or were they the one doing the rescuing? Something about not feeling safe or not feeling secure. So sometimes we don't want to ask for help. Um, and this could be your twin's energy or your energy as well. When things are falling apart in our lives, you know, sometimes it has nothing to do with your twin. It's outside of them. There's all shit going on in our lives that's crazy. You know, we lose a job. We lose a family member. We, you know, we go through tragedies and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like if you feel very troubled, you may have to start to save yourself and not worry about others. And they may have to start to save themselves and can't rely on you. So however that resonates... But, um, you know, what you need to do now is sort of like expand your life, okay? You need to sort of ask, ask the universe to send you signs. Ask the universe for assistance that can come your way. Um, this has to do with leaning on supportive people too, though, guys. Like if you have anybody in your life that you can lean on that's supportive, if you're going through a difficult time, I have a support group for Twin Flames. I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, but yeah, it's about sort of like needing to find that safe place within and you might not know where that's at or how to get to that. Okay. So let's see some specific lessons tied to this. What are your lessons? Let's see. All right. We've got peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So it could be that you want peace just in life. You maybe don't feel at peace in separation. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My throat is driving me nuts. You might not be giving yourself peace. You might be so hung up on things of the past and a lot of negative um, thoughts and doubts might be sucking you, okay? So you're being called to give yourself peace and release negative energy, relief, release negative thoughts, negative behaviors, negative patterns of belief. All of those things have to go. And let's see something of theirs. We've got indecision. Water, I need some. So indecision, you guys can read that. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So they may have not been able to choose between you and something else or you and someone else, okay? It could be that they just don't know anything in life right now. They might be like newbie, newborn, like they don't understand the journey. They don't understand the path. They don't know what to do. Should I go left? Should I go right? Should I be with this person? Should I be with that person? Should I choose this job? Should I stay at this job? They're very confused and they're not honing in on their intuition. Very important thing that activates very quickly when you go into separation, but lots of us ignore it. So getting in touch with their intuition is a challenge for them. So let's see something that's been the hardest thing for you so far. 
Ooh, we've got negative thoughts. So see, that can translate to you too, this card right here, guys. The intuition and the negative thinking. So nothing seems right. So you might be just, look at this black balloon. Everything is being poured into this balloon and filling it up with air okay all your negative thoughts imagine are this balloon you have to let this balloon go let it soar let it float let it pop into space and never exist again okay so you have to do some clearing out of that and try to not think negative anymore write down positive things every day or state things out loud every day that are positive in your life to get you out of this pattern okay what's something that's been difficult for them so emotions, face your feelings. So they may not be able to face their feelings. They might have issues with coming clean about the way they feel. Or they might harbor emotions. Or they might harbor all their fears and animosity and anxiety and regrets. They might not know how to express themselves. You ask them what's wrong, they might say nothing. But really a, a tidal wave of shit is bothering them. Okay. So in separation, they are just trying to figure out who they are, what they are, what they want, how they feel. They're very confused. They put on a blank face face every day and that's sort of like their mask and they just sort of bowl through everything they could be deeply deeply hurting but you would not know it they will not show it they'll keep it in and they'll just keep this blank mask face on and inside they feel very crumbling very troubled they might have a lot of troubles around them surrounding them okay sometimes third party doesn't have to be cheating it could be something else that interfered a person uh, something with a place it could have been a move it could have been a job anything else but they're really struggling okay they're trying to understand the way they feel about you they're trying to understand um why does this connection feel so intense they're just deeply deeply um digging okay so what's something that their soul is saying to your soul sort of a soul to soul love message practice compassion see things from a fresh perspective so they their soul is saying to your soul to look with new eyes, okay? They want you to be compassionate with yourself, not just the way you showed them compassion, but they want you to do it with yourself. See things differently. See your energy differently, matching their energy differently. See them in a different light if possible. See yourself in a different light. But either way, they want you to be gentle with yourself. And what is your soul sort of saying to them? Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. So they, your soul is sort of saying to them, remember when we first were together. Remember those feelings. Remember how deeply I love and care for you. Remember my touch. Remember the way my body feels. Remember that I'm here and I love you and I always will. Whether we're in separation or not, it's an illusion. So you are hoping that they'll turn their heart light on, that they'll reach out to you, which is very possible they might. So let's close this out sort of with one more map card and see what we get here for what's next. What's next? What's the next move? So we've got dry desert. Interesting. So this could be very explanatory of how you feel right now. You feel very desolate, very kind of uh, worried about what's what's out there. It's sort of barren. It's sort of, you know, empty, okay? So you're supposed to really dig deep here for inspiration. Is your life presenting you with opportunities that you maybe seem to yield nothing like are you not going all the way for something okay have all your like ideas dried up all your feelings dried up are you starting to feel like you know you need replenishment you need like rejuvenation you might feel like you're on this endless journey it's dry it's hot it's lifeless it's so dreary it's so drudgery Okay, but you know, when this card pops up, it reminds you that there are times when you're meant to be resilient and keep going, even if it's harsh, even if it's hard. This is how we build strength, guys. You're being required to conserve your energy, though, until I feel like after consistent effort, you will reach the oasis that you're searching for. Okay, you've got to believe it's there. Consider all the creatures that live in that desert. Consider how they've adapted to their environment throughout time. You know, think about what is the essence of the desert water and there isn't a drop in sight, right? But you have to know it's there. It's not just a mirage. You have to know it's there. So just keep going forward. You know, find your truth out there within yourself. It's almost like a, a, a vision quest or a spirit quest, sort of like that. Um, and that, you know, once you move past what you feel like is forever, forever drudgery, you get to that oasis, you get to that beautiful place, you're going to be so proud of the work you've done.
I hope that this was helpful, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check my description box for private reading information. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sorry my dog was barking in the background. Um, but anyway, love and light to you guys. Thanks so much for watching.